to that particular blessing, the blessing for the children that we had mentioned under the Torah portion and the customs. This is Bamarinya in them heart. Mm. In them heart, verse uh, 16. Besam'ab wa wal wa man nafasik du sahadu amlak. Egzi ab her ka kufu nagar hulu wa yad nanya mela ak. Or suwa nazihina bela te no cha yibarik. Simim yabatoche yabraham na yisahakim hasim. Be inner suwa yitera. Be midderim mekakela yibzuwa. That's the blessing there from Orit Zafitret Mi'ra Fa'arba Simenta Kutera Asra Asra Siddis. Now, when we turn to Genesis, and we're utilizing the Schofield Study Bible, Genesis chapter 48, chapter 48, verse 16, let us read the King James um, translation of this blessing. This is a blessing for the children. Now, in our present diasporic situation and condition, it's important for those who are parents to also practice and implement as much as they understand and can, especially in the matter of blessing the children. It's very important that we recognize the importance of the children, especially those who are brought up in the faith. And 48 and 16, it says, The angel which redeemed me from all evil blessed the lads and let my name be named on them and the name of my fathers, Abraham and Yisahak, and let them make them grow in a multitude in the midst of the earth. This is from the King James, a little bit different than what some of the other Jews say, and they say it in this way, may the angel who redeems me from all evil bless the children, and may my name be declared among them, and the names of my fathers, Abraham and Yisahak, or Abraham and Isaac, and may they teem like fish for multitude upon the land. That idea of fish is not found by Marinya, and it's not found in our in the English of the King James. And therefore, this might be a little bit of an interpolation by the other Jews, because the sense of it, the plain sense of this, the peshat, the plain sense of this in the King James, as well as in the King of Kings, is very clear, that may they... May they be a multitude. May they um, be fruitful and multiply, in other words. Now, let us touch on a little bit of the history, but we wanted to go over that particular blessing, the blessing of the youth or the kol ha Na'arim is very, very important. So it will be good to learn this and to put it into to practice, especially for our youths, and especially at this particular time, the joy in the Torah.